All right, before we start the video, I just want to say that normally I like to get the title before making these videos uh, so that it just seems like it's more like I have the title so I know what I'm talking about. But you understand why I'm not finished uh, the title, but I pretty much have all the information that you need to finish this or, you know, be efficient about it. So usually when I make these videos, they're pretty long. I try to go through every single triumph and try to talk about what's efficient of what you can do with each title uh, and my experiences that might show some stuff as well. Talk about all that good stuff. So pretty much let's start off with the basics. So basics is this is the Festival of Lost 2022 title Ghost Rider. Uh, you will have up until November 8th, uh, which is three weeks from now. Uh, this is the first uh, week. This is second day, I'm pretty sure, of this recording. And we get all these triumphs done. 16 to get the title. And there's four that I be gilded. But you can do the gilded ones before you get the title. As you can see here, we already have these done, even though we don't have the title yet. Even that, not even, uh, yeah, so that's, 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 that's how it works. But it doesn't, they fixed it since last time from Solstice, where if you got the gilded title, you were able to get the title early. But they fixed that where you can't get that anymore. And of course, you have the challenges. The challenges or the triumphs are the same. They're the same thing. And these give you rewards as well. So you can look at those and see the gift masks and all that stuff. Uh, and, uh, enhancement quarters and tickets. Tickets are for uh, the invent card, which is a uh, thousand silver or ten dollars Canadian or whatever. Or uh, twelve dollars, I guess. Um, if you buy that, then you unlock uh, a shader, a sparrow, and an emote. And if you finish the thing, the uh, all the challenges, then you get all the rest of these rewards over here. These are not free. You have to still buy. The free rewards are the ones that come with the challenges, pretty much. Those are the free stuff. Anyways, so let's get started and talk about uh, the triumphs. So first one we're going to go through is... Where is this here? Uh, first one we have... This one you'll finish uh, at the beginning. If you start the event, you have to go to Eva in the tower, as always. And she'll give you our quest. She wants you to pick a mask, pick a mask, put it on. And then you want you to do a haunted sector playlist or haunted sector. Do one of that. Uh, and then at the end, you'll get manifested pages. You head back to the tower and you want to go ahead and go to the book next to her and pick up a page from the book. And that will give you that first triumph there. That's like a guaranteed one. That's uh, just for the, the tutorial of said title. Now for the next one. Is these are the next three bookworm one, bookworm two, and bookworm three. I don't have it done yet because I'm still grinding, but this one is just getting pages in the book. Um, I think I've done the math, I think you need 200 in total. Um, but you don't want to grind all the books at once, which I'll explain uh, the efficient way to grind this event. But I wouldn't focus on getting pages, you're going to get a lot of pages just by doing the other triumphs. In a, in a bit. So here, for example, we have these books. And they cost nine here, but it costs like two here, like five here. That's, like, that's about 200. I don't, I can't see the math anymore, but it's around there. I, I You can do the math yourself, but you can only hold, I think, 75 spectral pages, which is the green pages. I don't know how many manifest pages you can hold in inventory, but I wouldn't go too far and start redeeming those pages. Uh, that's for sure. So there is that much and then after bookworm three we have heads will roll we have defeat a hundred headless ones so headless ones i mean it's kind of obvious which ones those are they just spawn during the playlist or the activity um and you stand on the plate and you kill one you can kill 10 in the first five minutes um easily and then during the boss phase you can kill 15 or five more but you can kill the boss early, so you might not kill all 15. But this will be done passively, so you don't have to worry about this one too much. Just make sure that you hit them. You don't have to it says defeat them. But as long as you hit them, and then you go to another one, it, it will still count if someone else kills it, right? So as long as you get the damage on it, they'll count towards the progress here. But 100 is way too, you know, it's way too little to how much you're, you're going to grind for. So don't worry about this too much. Then we have local hunts, haunts. Um, it's when you have to get uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 and complete it on the these areas. So the Haunted Moon, Haunted Nessus, Haunted Europa, Haunted EDZ. There's four maps that rotate, not rotate, but randomly chosen whenever you 
uh, queue up. Uh, he's 12 in total, right? I wouldn't focus too much on finishing this one. Uh, you'll probably get it done because in total, they did at least 35 haunted sectors. So I wouldn't worry too much about focusing on, oh, I already finished the moon already. I'm going to go just exit out or go back to orbit and find the one I'm missing. I wouldn't worry about too much. You'll probably finish it automatically and passively. So we have this next one, we have Candy Corner, 17K, 500, uh, 17,500 candy in total. Um, this one's passive. I wouldn't worry about it too much. You'll get it done with, by doing other activities that you'll have to do for other triumphs. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Mystery Meat. Uh, this one wants you to buy epic loot bags uh, from Eva. Uh, you'll get this done passively as well. I don't know what the max is for candy in your inventory, but we have 20k right now. Um, and a loot box, a loot bag only costs uh, 1300 So I bought three of them and it gave me the progress. If you buy maybe... I think it's if you buy one of these, it's like half of the progress. So it's six six mystery grab bags or uh three epic mystery grab bags. I just focus on these ones to be honest, and it should finish in three only. I would do that, that's for sure. Um, and then we have separation, automatic transmission, and third shot the char third shots a charm and shocking conclusion. So these four. Uh, I would focus using uh, people would probably like go to like Shiroji or the dungeon or the uh, grass, the loot cave dungeon uh, or uh, the Soros Harbor or Altar of Soro to farm and get kills for weapons. I just don't care about it. But I recommend to be efficient and just do it when you're forced to do strikes, crucible, gambit and do it during those activities. Use those gun types in those activities while grinding that. I think that's better and when you're doing haunted sectors. You'll get these done first, so you don't have to worry about it later. You know what I mean? So, and you, you're grinding efficiently, doing multiple tasks, multiple activities at the same time, which feels efficient, right? So I would worry, do those while doing the other activities as well. Sniper rifles is 100 kills. Auto rifles is 200 kills. Uh, Pulse rifle is 500 kills and arc energy is a thousand kills in total. Um, but me, I, what I did for fun, I just put on a primary a auto rifle, a arc pulse rifle, and I just picked on a heavy step rifle, which is Darcy or Whisper the Worm. Darcy is probably a little bit better for that. If you want to do that, you don't have to do that, but you can just swap whenever you want. But that's what I did. The reason we use an arc pulse rifle, it could be anything to be honest. It's just because uh, we have this one, shocking, shocking Conclusion, which is Arc Damage. It doesn't have to be abilities. It could be an Arc Weapon. So having an Arc Pulse Rifle is useful uh, or anything or Arc Auto Rifle. But Arc Pulse Rifle is good because it's 500 kills. And so at, at least you're getting 500 Arc Kills, which is a 1,000 in total. So I would use an Arc Subclass as well when you're running through your Crucible, your Gambit, and your your strikes as well so i would recommend doing that to be a little bit more efficient when doing that grind um and i you know i use a pulse rifle as well when i had to do crucible matches which is you know i don't have this extra progress for, for guardian kills but it felt faster with the kills i was getting with a pulse rifle anyways so maybe not probably not anyways next up we have occult ritual which is completing strikes crucible matches and yeah this one's very very long uh but you're just gonna have to just do strike out strike the deck which is at least 10 strikes but i'm not sure if nightfalls count more but i did 10 strikes for this which gave me about uh 30 33 percent i think for this one i could be wrong i don't remember but that's about it i don't know how much i can catch actually is but 10 strikes for that and then this one uh for crucible and gambit uh, right now, Gambit is the fastest game mode to complete, but if you don't like Gambit, that's fine. If you like Crucible, sure. But if you don't like Crucible, then Gambit is the other option, the better option. Um, but right now, uh, it, it will also be a better option if, depending on, uh, what fun game mode there is right now, it's Clash, which is crap. But maybe you get, like, Mayhem or Momentum Control or Scorch Cannon, which might be faster than Gambit. But Gambit by far is a faster game mode. And this was about like seven to six, seven to eight matches for this triumph to finish uh, for the most part. You have to wear a mask for that one as well. But I don't know if you have to, but it says you have to. So there's that. Um, so yeah, Gambit is better. Now, once you get to that point, 
uh, we have the last one here, which is the hardest one. And this, this is very important to listen, all right? I messed up a little bit. This could have been better, more efficient for myself, but that's fine. What I recommend for, for getting to be when doing get strikes and doing gambit crystal matches and finishing this one, I recommend to at least do like one strike and then do a sector. Do one strike, sector, do one gambit match and sector. Then do one crystal ball, then one sector. It sounds tedious, it sounds long, but you'll gain progress over time and getting this one done over time as well. So use your weapons, you get your gambit, do your strikes, but also in between each one, do a lot, do a hunter sector to get progress for this because this takes a long time. As no matter what, it'll take at least seven minutes to clear a hunter sector because default five minutes at the beginning and then maybe like two minutes to kill the boss, right? So there is that plus matchmaking, so eight minutes maybe. So you can really tell how long it's going to take us. So there is that uh, for the most part. And you're, you're always getting pages. You don't want to do a harness sector without doing pages unless you're finished the pages already, which is pretty possible to do. But uh, this one will take a long time as well. Um, like eventually you'll finish these two. Like, okay, what do I do? Well, I just did Gambit. Gambit is like three or four minutes long. Uh, strikes could be longer and uh, Crystal could be longer. Though strikes give more pages per completion, but they're longer. And but gambit gives three pages per. It's not that bad. Um, but I would just do play one gambit, and I'll just play one sector, and I just I just switch swap between both, while earning pages and getting progress for this last one here that I need, uh, for the most part. Um, other than that, after I finish this, with no more gambit, uh, now I'm doing public events, like one public event or two public events. Um, and then we're switching back and forth doing that. So getting pages for public events and doing sectors, public events, heroic public events, and regular public events give either two or three, doesn't matter if it's heroic or public or regular. Um, but I'll, I always go to your map and look for which one is like going on right now. Uh, the good ones is Winding Cove, uh, and then you have Winding Cove, uh, Sunset Second Isles up there. That one's fast and easy. Uh, the moon, I don't go to the moon that much. Nessus is easy. Like uh, the one Exodus Black up here, Artifact Edge is good over there. Um, and there's, you just gotta learn which ones are good and which ones are fast. Uh, Sabathun's World, the one over here in the Pragmire is pretty good. And the Moon, I don't know. The moon's too far. But uh, you gotta remember, also remember double dipping. If you know what double dipping is, if you're, if you're playing by yourself, and let's say you go to Artifact's Edge and you finish uh, this one very fast. If you were by yourself in a party, you click on this again while on the map and it should load a new instance. You might get the public event again and you get double dipped and you get more pages from doing that right there uh, for the most part. Now that should get you the title, but like I said, I don't have it yet because it takes a long time to get this done. But now let's go about the gilding. The gilding is from some one confusing one will be one of many. One of many, the way it says or the way it, what it wants you to do is defeat all headless ones in a single run. What this means is that there's 15 headless ones in total, right? So 10 in the first five minutes. But what you need to make sure is that you have to hit them at least one time. You have to get the kill participation on the headless one. So hit them. I probably recommend if you want to cheese it, use a wither horde. So like capture the point, use a wither horde, right? And then go to the next point. As long as you hit it, that's it. But the only issue is if you're playing by yourself or other people, that's random people, they might, once you get to the boss phase, it might just kill the boss, right? And not care about getting the other five because you don't need all the headless ones to kill the boss. You, you only need one headless one to kill the boss, right? So, uh, you know, you have to be just be that guy who's pushing everything. What you can do is when you do kill a headless one during the boss phase, just throw the pumpkins pretty much out of nowhere. Just throw it anywhere to, you know, sabotage the team to be slower. But other than that, you have to hit, you have to capture every single one, blah, blah, blah. blah. It, it takes a bit of time, but... I'll show you guys a little clip here of what it looks like to get all 15 kind of thing. Okay, so we're already at the 10 at the boss phase here. I sped up a little bit to make this video a little bit faster. But as you can see here, all we're doing is capturing the points and making sure that, uh, you know, if our teammate's gone it, so just go go to the next one. But make sure you hit the boss so, or hit the headless one. So I'm hitting it there. I hit it one time there. So we have the, uh, the, 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 the progress there. So now both of them are spawned. Our team's like, like killing that fast, which is good. You also got to hope that your team is not kind of killing them as fast and the boss as well. So there is that. Right. So we're doing this damage here. Kill that one. Then we do the boss damage. Then we head to A. Right. Summoning. Nobody's here. 
So now the guy went to B, which is good. But now that he went to B, we have to go to A so or, or C, because that's that's how it is. So it's a B spawn, so I have a nice line of sight here. Hit it two times. Now with the focus on just killing them as fast as possible. Hoping that our team doesn't kill the boss. So here we're using uh Malfeasance with Hunter, which just shreds the boss. That's all that you need to make sure you have weapons that can kill the boss, kill the headless ones fast. Use your supers. And then we have the last headless one here, which is I don't know, my team, I think my team fell asleep, I think, which is lucky. Sometimes people are, people play the game a lot and they're good at the game. Um, and it might, this might not happen as often, but if you're in a party with me, the boss would be dead right now. I'll be honest with you. I'd kill it. I don't really care. But getting 15 all the time. But there you go. That's 15. We got all in total there. I think I do check eventually. This is a, uh, this is a uh, haunted Nessus, right? So this gave us the progress of getting 15 in total here. I think if I check here, uh, I don't know. Collection triumphs. There you go. Yeah, we got the haunted Nessus one completed. So good enough. That that is pretty much how it really goes. You have to do the most of the work there um, in order to just get it done hit everything like i said with a horde could work or eager's edge or yeah eager's edge to move around the map a little bit faster um it's the uh, next one's a bit harder because not a lot of sight and the moon one's a bit hard but the other thing to remember is that like if your teammates are on it just run off it but make sure to hit the boss like i said put it with the horde down and then go to the next spot you're at least one tick of damage is good enough to get the progress there Next up we have is Max Mayhem. I don't have this done, but it's pretty self-explanatory for this one. Have a mask on and do a dungeon. One, I think one dungeon completes it. Uh, people say like two encounters for raids. It finishes it. I'm not sure how much Master or Grandmaster Night Falls it takes. But uh, Wind Rounds is Trial of Cyrus, which is on Friday. So if you watch it on Friday, then you can do this too if you like Trials. But uh, people say just it's very, this one's very easy to do. As long as you have access to them, LFG, whatever. But... The easiest dungeon is Shadow Throne, which shouldn't take that long to finish by yourself if you do that kind of stuff. This we have Deathless one. This one just don't die. Uh, if you really don't want to die, then just you know, uh, just play it safe. It, it also pay attention to the modifiers of what it has because it rotates daily. The modifiers, so uh, Stasis Blackout uh, is pretty easy. Sometimes it has Airborne, whatever. So I would worry about that of don't don't jump or you you will die but as long as you have high resilience you shouldn't take that much damage uh, from that activity that one's pretty easy to do lastly we have sweet tooth this one I, it's just passive i mean we're not going to get it done by finishing the rest of this we'll probably be short by this one but i mean at that point you should really know what gives you a lot of candy um like public events 200 i most think most of give a 200 default 250 so uh, just keep playing the game. I don't know what to say about this one. This one, I won't get it done by the end of this. But uh, I don't know. Maybe a bit better activities will give more. But uh, people probably find some stupid grind to get a lot of candy. But that's pretty much all there is to that uh, for the most part. Now, I'm actually going to talk about one last thing. So, like, now, if, I didn't really talk about it. But, like, the speed run uh, sectors. If you just, like, only have this left and, like, pages left. Um if you don't care if you don't need one of many anymore or you don't need to you know worry about dying um the way to beat the boss fast people kind of forget about how to this is from last year to uh kill the boss fast once you get to phase the boss phase all you need to do is uh this right here but during the boss phase once you get a pumpkin right if you don't have to care about getting more headless ones kills like i said you can literally just pick up the pumpkin charge and use the melee which is the melee button and just hit the wizard or hit the boss and you'll see the shield goes down it's very small but like it adds up apparently i don't know why but it just makes it's more than what you're supposed to do so like right now let me throw a pumpkin at it only i have been hitting it with melee but i throw it now the full shield disappears i don't know why it does it but it just does it so you can clear the boss pretty quickly here um a fusion rifle is pretty strong in this for me like i said my hunter build with uh lucky raspberry um you would do tons of damage if you you know use malfeasance with that or crimson i guess either or works out pretty fine here pick another orb here real quick use melee get there faster 
and then you just keep punching the wizard or whoever the boss and then it should just let you one shot with the uh, pumpkin basically or shield not the way that i only kill one headless and you're good to go pretty much so we make sure that we uh get our buff here i didn't do it but i'll do it and do massive damage with that weapon it's kind of op a little bit in this activity because you do so much more damage than the fixed damage you're doing so there's that i guess anyways that is it uh that's the title i think i don't think i missed anything like i said i'd rather have the video where i have the title already but like i said it, it, this is just i'll finish this uh, eventually but that's the gist of it for the most we got a ship a lot of masks for free uh all that stuff it doesn't really matter man you can't use masks anytime after the event so it doesn't matter but other than that uh that's pretty much it i don't know what else if i miss anything maybe just comment below i might have missed something but other than that that's pretty much everything that i that's proficient and pretty easy to do i guess it's a pretty easy title anyways oh yeah also you want to make sure you finish this because you want to get the progress for the other title if you haven't if you didn't play solstice that's fine but the other title which is reveler you get to uh plus 16 16 triumphs done on that right there so good luck with that uh it shouldn't take that long there's no time gate you could do it all in one day but i wouldn't rececommend doing that because i am tired tired from <laughs> doing that that was torture but there you go almost done five more pages which is 45 best of pages yes